know that up to 30% of business transformation projects fail simply because organizations don't fully understand how their processes actually work? With SAP Signaga Process Mining, this can change. In this webcast, we'll share how applying process mining in customer support and cloud operations uncover inefficiencies, drive transformation, and deliver measurable improvements across the entire organization. Welcome, everyone, to today's live expert session. We are thrilled to have you join us as we dive into transforming your business with SAP Signavio Process Money. I'm pleased to have here with me Mate Komaromi, Process Analyst with SAP Signavio and Program Lead in Business Process and Solution Management at SAP. As Program Manager for the Process Analytics Project at SAP, Mate is passionate about uncovering the digital truth behind business processes. Supporting both customer support and cloud operations, he enables teams to gain actionable insights into their business processes and drive data-driven decision-making. And now, without further ado, over to you, Mate. Thank you very much, uh, Tanya. Thank you very much for the very warm welcome. And uh, hi, everyone. Um, so let me first and foremost uh, share and uh, and again, very warm welcome uh, from my side. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, today, we are going to explore how can we truly see our processes, not in theory, but in reality. Um, so every click, every search, every transaction leaves a trace. Uh, when we connect those traces, we uncover opportunities to make work smoother, smarter, and more human. That's what process mining with SAP Signavio makes it possible. So let me start with something simple. Imagine your morning coffee routine. You walk into a cafe or maybe use a smart ordering point uh, that already knows your favorite drink. It suggests your usual latte with almond milk just the way you like it. You tap confirm pay and wait as your order moves from preparation um, to pick up. Now imagine that every step leaves a small digital trace, a choice, a timestamp, an action. And when you connect those traces, you see the choreography of the experience, where it flows, where it slows, and where technology quietly makes life easier. Then comes the last step. How was your coffee today? And that's a feedback, the experience data. And when you combine it with process data, you see not only what happened, but how it felt. Let me show you some examples of these kind of digital traces. So one customer orders at the counter, then the order starts, then waits, then pays, uh, and actually that the order was served and then leaves it uh, with satisfied. Another uh, uses the smart kiosk, pay faster, feels uh, then uh, really satisfied. A third order, um, actually, that uh, twice after the mix up, order served and another served, and then giving the feedback, which is ends with dissatisfied. So three coffees, three journeys, three outcomes, all leaving different traces. Connect them, uh, and you see not just the events, but the stories. That's the essence of process mining. So transforming everyday moments into insight, we can act on. Every process mining journey starts with a problem statement, not just asking what happened, but why it happened and how we can make it better. From that point, we move into the discover phase, bringing together data from across systems to see the process as it really runs, not just as it's designed on paper, once we have that transparency, we enhance, identifying where delays, rework, or bottlenecks appear and exploring how to remove them. Then we monitor tracking improvements in real time, measuring outcomes, and ensuring that changes truly deliver impact. 
And when that cycle closes, it doesn't end. It starts again. So each round brings new questions, deeper insights, and stronger results. That's what process mining so so powerful. Uh, it's not a one-time project, not a one-time activity, but a continuous journey of discovery, enhancement, and measurable transformation. So how do we bring that kind of visibility to our organization? So the SAP Signavio transformation suite that connects insights, collaboration, and execution. It starts with understanding how processes run, uh, then aligning people to improve them, and finally transforming operations based on real data. It's one connected suite, the process mining with process intelligence, also the modeling part, the collaboration and governance, all designed to turn insight into measurable change. Whether we are refining one workflow or transforming an entire organization, we do it through one connected source of truth, our process reality. And within that, process intelligence plays a key role. So let me show you what that looks like, how discover widgets, flow diagrams, and value widgets bring those digital traces to life. So um, just we recall uh, one of the previous slides that when we connect these digital traces, the first question is simple, that how process is actually running? Process discovery widget, or how we call it internally, the spaghetti diagram, gives us that reality, actual paths, variants, and where time concentrates. It's like an X-ray. So we see the dominant flow, the detours, and the hotspots where small fix fixes unlock big canes. Now, uh, the second other key feature of SAP Signavio process intelligence for process mining is the Senki diagram. So here you can actually see the process in motion. Each band you see here is a different path through the process. The wider the band, the more often the path is taken. What's beautiful about the Senki view is that it condenses thousands of journeys into one picture. Instantly, we can spot the main flow where most journeys go smoothly. And side paths where a four delay or reverse starts to appear. So instead of staring at the raw data or spreadsheets, um, we are watching the process tell its own story. This is what process mining does the best. It makes the invisible visible, turning complexity into clarity. The value widget is also another um, key feature of SAP Signavio process intelligence is that when analyzing uh, the assets journey, after uncovering the process flows, the next step is to make it insights easy to grasp. So that's where the value widgets come in. They provide simplified data representations, condensing complex process data into a single easy to understand metric. This makes it effortless to comprehend key performance indicator as a glance. Um, what's more, these widgets are interactive, so we can slice, filter, and compare different process behaviors. So this means that we don't just see one story, we see how the process behaves under different conditions and where the value is being created or lost. It's the bridge between data and decision, turning complexity into clarity. Behind every process insight, um, there is a solid foundation, the solution landscape that makes it possible. So this is a landscape that connects everything, data systems and, and analytics. So operation systems feed their events or usage data into data product or um, and, and via to that a data lake where they are standardized and connected. On top of that, SAP Signavio process intelligence transform this raw data into meaning, into journeys, KPIs and opportunities for improvement. So each layer has its own role. The source systems captures the reality every click, usage, transaction. The data platform ensures quality, security, and consistency. And the process intelligence layer turns the data into insights that drive the action. So what makes this powerful is that not just another architecture, it's a connected backbone, a foundation where business and IT meet, ensuring and every improvement we design is built on trusted data. And 
Now let's look at a real example that at SAP, how small insight-driven changes can make a big difference. So um, in the ticket creation flow, the platform is SAP for me, AI suggested documentation based on the problem description that we call internally intelligent solution matching originally appeared in two places, in the sidebar, why the issue was being typed, and again, just before submission. Using process mining, we traced how customers actually interacted with those documentation. The pattern was clear. Engagement was much higher when the content appeared in the center of the screen. So that we tested the change, moving the top AI suggested articles earlier in the journey, right after the user entered their detailed description. And the result, usage doubled. A small design adjustment guided by data made the experience twice as effective, helping users to find the right content faster and reusing the need to create new tickets. So visibility and timing drive engagement. SAP Signavio process intelligence findings turn insight into measurable action. So um, process mining isn't just about um, data, it's about trust. So when leadership commits to the vision, it sends a clear message. This isn't a reporting exercise, it's how we make decisions. So that is one lesson that we have learned uh, when um, started um, to uh, rely on the findings from the uh, SAP Signavio process intelligence uh, models. Um, so the real magic also, and this is also another key lessons that we learned that the real magic happens when business and IT work side by side. The business defines the question, IT brings the data and process mining connects the two. Without that partnership, insights stay, that st insights stay stuck in silos. The third lesson is that what we learn, um, it's, Actually, that um, it's like um, that when the, um, so this is actually that it's tempting to analyze everything at once, but the biggest wins um, uh, comes from when focusing on uh, one question, one process on one measurable improvement and deliver value, value early, prove the impact and then scale. And also last but not least, uh, lessons what we learned is that every insight, every improvement deserves the recognition. So when teams see their work is leading to measurable change, adoption acceler accelerates naturally. So process mining grows fastest when people feel ownership of the story. And this is actually that uh, what I wanted to share and I Truly appreciate uh, the chance that I had to I had the chance to to present here. So, um, Tanya, uh, over to you. Thank you so much, Mate. It was a really interesting presentation. I enjoyed it very much. Um, perhaps before going to the questions, um, could you please unshare? Perfect. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. We have a question. So um, how do you technically combine process data and experience data? Yeah, I mean, that's that's a great question um, because in the beginning, I just, just mentioned that um, the process data and, and experience data, that these are the two together where actually that uh, the meaningful outcomes we can get. So the, actually that's one of the most uh, exciting aspects of process mining today. So process data, tells us what happened and in which sequence. It comes from the system logs, uh, case ID, or call it session IDs, timestamps, and uh, the activities. Experience data, uh, things like satisfaction ratings or survey feedback, tells us how it felt for the person going through that journey. So technically, we combine them through a common key, usually a case ID that exists in both data sources. So uh, in our uh, case, that is often a shared identifier between 
operational systems and experience platforms like Quatrix. Um, once we linked that we can visualize both sides together, for example, seeing uh, that longer resolution loops correlate with lower satisfaction or that proactive communication improves the customer effort uh, score, for example. Um, so in short, uh, process mining shows the path experience data gives it the meaning. And uh, the key here is that uh, this is also really important that to have a common key uh, shared both uh, in uh, the platform that stores the process data and also in the platform that stores the experience data. Great, thank you so much. Um, I have another question. Data is becoming more and more important. I mean, we've been talking about it since years, how uh, important data is, but what kind of data does a customer need to get started? Yeah, it's also another uh, good question. So actually uh, need a very little to begin. So three columns form the backbone of process mining. Uh, the case or session ID, the activity name, and the timestamp. Uh, the case ID connects all steps of a single process instance. The activity name describes what happened, and the timestamp gives us the order. So from those three fields, we can already reconstruct the process end-to-end. -end. Additional attributes like region, product line, priority, simply help us slice and compare behaviors later. That's the beauty of process mining. So you don't need uh, to start with perfect data. You, you start with curiosity and then the model reveals the quality matters most. And you can also um, expand um, uh, later. And one additional inf information to add here that um, sometimes the process you want to analyze doesn't uh, yet capture enough of those interactions. So in that case, we may need to implement uh, additional event tracking or enable specific logging to make the data accessible so that this is actually from 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 the source system that that re requires this activity to implement these new uh, events or or usage data um so the good news is that that once the events are tracked they become reusable um so meaning every future analysis gets faster and richer great thank you so much and we have another question um, how frequently can the data refresh? Is it near real time? Exactly, uh, near real time. Um, the system supports flexible refresh intervals depending on the data setup. So in our internal models, we typically refresh on a daily basis, which gives uh, the team's up-to-date visibility without overloading um, uh, the system. So think about when we are talking about process mining data that we are talking about mass amount of data. Um, and and, uh, and the architecture itself, so especially uh, when uh, consuming the data from, from data lakes, support streaming and uh, intraday updates if the process requires faster insights, um, for example, in customer support or in operations. So the answer is that we tailor the refresh um, rate to the rhythm of the business. So for most scenarios, um, daily is perfectly close to real time. Great, thank you so much. Um, we don't have any other question here in the chat. I would like to offer um, all attendees and people watching the video afterwards. If you have any question, just put them in the comments area underneath this video and we will make sure that they are answered. So since we don't have any further questions, let me thank you again, Mate, for your excellent presentation and for answering all the questions. And a big thank you to all our attendees um, for joining us. And I hope you got a lot of value from the session today. And I wish you all a great day, a great evening, depending on where you are. Bye-bye.